calories sounds like a lot of work. After all, losing weight isn't an easy thing to do, and dieting can be a challenge of both time management and willpower. When you're really busy, things like meal prepping and getting in an extra walk can seem almost impossible day to day. Well, we here at Bestie want to make your life a little easier and your weight loss goals attainable. Before we talk about how to lose those calories, let's talk about all the knowledge you'll gain by clicking the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell too. First, we want to say that all diets should be paired with a good amount of exercise. Remember, you want to lose weight the healthy way and not hurt your body in the process. All right, let's get started with some super easy ways you can cut the calories. The first and one of the most important, stay away from low fat foods. Although it may seem to be exactly what you're looking for, what you really want is to avoid low fat and go for real whole foods. They're better for you and you'll feel fuller for longer. Plus, with the idea that these kind of foods don't contain many calories, you'll probably end up eating more than you normally would, thereby not actually cutting any calories at all. Fidget. This is one way you can burn a few extra calories in a day. Sitting all day long isn't doing your body any favors, so getting up and walking around, tapping your foot, or just making an effort to move more often during the day will have a surprising effect on your calorie totals. Plus, it's good for your headspace to get your body moving during the day. You might find you'll boost the number of calories you burn and your productivity at the same time. Skip the extra lumps. You're probably sweet enough, you don't need the extra sugar. Sugar pops up unexpectedly in food all the time, so whenever you can avoid adding to your daily intake of sugar, the better. This is a big one if you like your coffee or tea with a little sweetness. It's really only a few small calories per cup, however, those add up. You could be looking at 100 less calories by the end of the week with all that extra sugar. Speaking of the hot beverage department, do you get whipped cream on your coffee when you're out with your pals? You'll want to avoid any of those sugar additions if you're trying to cut the calories. Speaking of cutting out sugar, swap the soda. Skipping the soda pop is a really easy way to save almost 200 calories per can. If you're a soda drinker, this might be hard at first, but if you swap out the sugar fizzy drink for some carbonated water instead, you'll still get the satisfaction of a bubbly drink without the calories. Just make sure it's fizzy water that has no added flavors or sugar added. If you're unsure, best to stick with regular H2O. Not only will you save a ton of calories each day, but your body will thank you for the extra hydration. Calorie count. This is a surefire way to eat less calories and also keep track of your progress. It may seem daunting in the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, you'll find it's actually pretty simple. Start with a food journal and just jot down what you're eating in a day. It's a great way to check in with your body too, as you can actually take stock of what you're putting into it each day. Who knows, it may even inspire you to eat healthier. You can also use this journal to keep track of how certain foods make you feel. For example, if you ate a handful of nuts, did they give you an energy boost? Maybe some of the food you ate today made you feel really full. Some left you feeling hungry. The more information you have, the better you can plan your calorie tracking journey. Get enough sleep. This is just a good rule to live by in general. Getting enough sleep can really help in your day-to-day -day routine. You'll feel good, be more motivated to tackle that to-do list, and you'll be happier overall. Stress is a big factor when it comes to getting enough sleep at night, so making time and implementing a proper sleep schedule can help you battle this problem. Setting a regular bedtime, cutting down on caffeine, and creating a bedroom that you'll love going to sleep in. Once you've got that sleep routine down, start your morning off strong. Getting a proper sleep will really help with this next point. If you're well rested, you'll be bright eyed and bushy tailed the next day. This will make it easier to really start the morning off strong with a little bit of exercise. Studies have shown that women who exercise first thing in the morning had positive results with reducing their appetite and they wanted to work out more. Keep in mind, working out will only subdue your hunger for a short while. But if you eat proper, healthy food after a workout, your body is more likely to use those nutrients to grow muscle rather than store it as fat. 
Speaking of eating, clean out your kitchen. Sometimes all you want to do is curl up on the couch and eat junk food. However, if you don't actually have junk food at home, it's much harder to eat it. Avoiding processed, sugary foods at the grocery store can have a huge impact on what you eat at home. Out of sight, out of mind, right? It may be hard to cut these foods from your diet in the beginning, but soon your body will adjust and you'll no longer crave those foods that offer no real nutritional value. Since you're cutting calories anyway, you need food that's going to give your body energy, not just upping your calories with no benefits. Now that your kitchen is full of yummy whole foods, try cooking at home more often. This one might be tricky if you're not a master in the kitchen, but hopefully your new diet will inspire you to get in the kitchen. Not only will you reduce the amount of calories by using less oils, fats, and salts that restaurants use, but you'll also save money too. Plus, cooking can be a wonderful pastime and stress reducer. Now, once you've cooked yourself a delicious and healthy meal, eat with the wrong hand. Sounds silly, we know, but according to research, eating with the wrong hand can disrupt the regular flow of your eating routine, therefore making you more aware of how much you're eating. It'll also slow you down, which allows your stomach to take stock of how much food you've actually eaten. It might make for a funny dinner activity to eat with the wrong hand, but you can also try using chopsticks or eating in a different room than you normally do. Switch it up a bit. Keep your house cool. Studies have shown that keeping your house anywhere between 62 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 to 25 degrees Celsius, can help your body burn more calories naturally. Your body will have to work that much harder to keep its average temperature up, therefore burning off a few extra calories. It may not be much, but every little bit helps. Drinking chilled water right before a workout can also give the number of calories you'll burn a boost. Speaking of drinking water, Chug water before each meal. Drinking water before any meal will help you feel fuller and more satisfied before you even start eating. Water is something we need constantly, so you're basically giving your body what it craves anyway. Healthline says drinking about two cups of water before any meal could lower your calorie intake by up to 13%. Use your sense of smell. One of the downsides to cutting calories, at least in the beginning, is that you're probably going to get a bit hungry from time to time. This is where your nose can really help you out. You know how the smell of fresh baked cookies or a nice home cooked meal can really send your hunger through the roof? Well, it turns out it can actually work both ways. Smelling certain foods can help suppress your hunger. It's a strange phenomenon that scientists don't fully understand yet. So what are these magical foods whose scents make us less hungry? Bananas, green apples, vanilla, and peppermint are some of the main ones. And that's our list on easy, helpful ways to cut calories. We hope this helps you on your weight loss journey and will inspire you to stick to a healthy routine. It takes real commitment and a balance of exercise, but sticking to the plan will help you see results before you know it. Did you find this video helpful? Were there any tips that really surprised you? Do you have some of your own tried and true methods for cutting calories that you'd like to share? Why not let us know in the comments section below your favorite ways to cut calories. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.